Hi readers, welcome back to Storytime with Tristan. Do you know who invented the traffic light? What about the mailbox or the clock? Let's learn who invented many of the things that we use every day as we read, Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? Written by Patrice McLaurin and illustrated by Diane Wayne. Read with permission from Patrice McLaurin. This world is full of inventions. Some of them we don't even think about. But if we took the time to think about them, we'd realize we wouldn't want to live without them. You see, inventions, they make our lives much easier, and they also make our lives more fun. So we should thank the inventors who invent great inventions, for without them, we might not get anything done. Like, for instance, when your mom wakes you up in the morning to let you know that it's time for school, you stretch and yawn, rub the corners of your eyes, and probably wipe away last night's drool. That's when you happen to glance over at your clock and realize that you're running a bit late. Well, you wouldn't know that were it not for Benjamin Banker, who invented the first clock in the United States. So you put on clothes and you rush into the bathroom. You wash your face and brush your teeth, then brush your hair. Be sure to thank Linda Newman for part of your morning grooming as the modern day hairbrush was her awesome idea. Afterwards, you're called into the kitchen for breakfast. This morning, it's cereal with fruit and wheat toast. Thank goodness John Stannard improved the refrigerator because hot milk with your cereal is pretty gross. And when you're on your way to school, whether you're a bus rider, a car rider, or you walk, you have to thank Garrett Morgan for the traffic light. Otherwise, none of our streets would be safe to cross. Then after you've settled into your classroom and you've taken out your supplies because you're such a scholar, please remember to show love to Mr. John Love for his invention was none other than the pencil sharpener. Now, as much as you love to learn, you'll admit that sometimes lunch is your favorite time of the day. Well, you can thank John Robinson for your lunchbox, but for what's inside it, it's your mom that you should thank. And what does mom usually pack in your lunchbox? Tasty snacks that make your belly go yum? Like peanut butter, made popular by George Washington Carver, or potato chips, invented by George Crumb. Fast forward, the school day is now over. It's been a long one, and you're happy to be home. You check the mailbox invented by P. Downing, then chill in front of the air conditioner, improved by Frederick Jones. Plus, your teacher didn't assign any homework, so you decided to play a few games on the cell phone. Well, if it wasn't for Henry Sampson's gamma electric cell, believe it or not, there would be no cell phone. And these are just a few awesome inventions. There are countless others that I didn't even mention, like the doorknob invented by O. Dorsey, or a type of guitar invented by Robert Fleming. Sarah Boone invented the ironing board, and Thomas Stewart invented the mop. Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker, and W.A. Martin improved the lock. So now, here's a cool thing for you to do. You should take just a moment or two and ponder over how life would be if these inventions weren't created for you. Then as you lie on your bed this evening and you think about how your day was spent, don't forget to think an inventor. Then dream about what you'd like to invent. The End I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me today and that it inspires you to try to invent something too. In the back of the book, the author included a lot of resources for you to check out. So make sure to grab your own copy of this book so that you can learn even more. Special thanks to Patrice McLaurin for allowing us to read Have You Thanked an Inventor today. Make sure to check out more books written by Patrice McLaurin, such as I Am Because I Choose and Have You Thanked a Kid Inventor today. Head to patricemclaurin.com so that you can check out all of her books and the lesson plans too. If you enjoyed this read aloud, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that I can keep bringing you more read alouds. And make sure to check out the two books that my sister and I wrote, I Am Me and My Wonderful Curls. Our books are available on Amazon or by clicking the links below. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.